this going? Oh! And, uh, let's lose this a life, shall we? Probably the best thing to do to kill enemies in your way would be to use your roll attack. For one thing, it gives you a speed boost, and also it uh, doesn't take away from your speed, like jumping might, like if you're trying to time your jump correctly. Some of these will contain two. The point is basically to jump on the claptrap without getting bitten. If you get bitten, it just throws you out of the bonus area. You don't lose a life. Just keep doing that for a little while. Claptrap will get faster and faster until eventually it spontaneously combusts and gives you a bonus item, this time a Ramby icon that we really don't need anymore. Let's see, I think the only one I haven't done yet is... Have I done Winky? don't think I did. Chasing us because you're a jerk. Completely missed that banana bunch back there. Going. And on to safety. There. Whoa. Not quite sure how I survived that, but there you go. some secrets, but we'll come back to that. Let us save with a little bit of candy. Honeycomb. Up to 32%. Not too bad. Let's face the orangutan gang. I think this is the first level that actually includes espresso. <coughs> Pardon me. Bit of a cough might be coming down with something. Hope not. Now this is a pretty neat effect. How the sun is actually setting in this level. Aha! Here is Espresso, and he will help us uh, fall down, I guess. Let's try that again. Now I think... Hmm. I think what, once we get Espresso, we have to come back to the start of the level. If this is the level I'm thinking of, anyway. very apt to comment about music in games. I must say I do enjoy the music in this game. It really sets the mood quite well. Now it's one bad thing about Espresso is that uh, you're not able to jump on monsters and uh, they'll just land you into the hole. Despite that I tried anyway just for the 
just for the sake of saying I've done it. And, uh, you know, commit suicide a couple of times. But that's okay. This is just gonna be the longest part of this LP anyways. Okay, I don't know how I survived that, but I survived that. And it was survived. By me. Over there. And kill these guys now, so hopefully we won't have to deal with them later, but they're probably just gonna respawn anyway. I'm gonna show you something. Although you're not able to jump on enemies, clap traps have no effect. None. They don't try to eat uh, Espresso's feet at all, or, you know, make you look like an idiot jerk. Okay. Now this is where we have to fly to the left. Yep, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Winky. W. I. icon as expected. Oh, look at that. A M B I. Maybe the Zarambi icon. Oh dear goodness. This will give us an icon for each one. Just keep going, yes. E oh, miss. Well, that was failure and a half. But well, let's keep going, I suppose. Directly onto a tire for no reason. Let's see what's on in those uh, dark spots. More icons. Exactly what we don't need. And a barrel. Which is probably going to despawn by the time we get to it. Oh, there it is. Huh. I wonder. I kill these jerks. No, these have steps on them. You can always tell that uh, that a wall is solid if it has ah uh, steps on it. That's the orangutan they were talking about at the beginning of the level. They're very annoying. There's supposed to be more of them, but we're at the exit. Is there something up here? Apparently not. Let's move on. Well, we apparently missed the secret, but uh, there you go. Clam City. It's our second watcher level. Three attempts is enough. Okay. I don't know, I, I really like, I really prefer the spooky sounding music 